today, these two teams, Minford from Minford, Ohio, and Russell from Russell, Kentucky, compete on today's High Q, presented by King's Daughters Medical Center. From the studios of Cool Hits 1057, in conjunction with My Town TV, here's the host of High Q, Ernie Anderson. Q. Thank you, MJ and McK, and thank you, wacky young people, for coming back to uh, play our game. So, Minford moves on because uh, Ashland that had uh, won earlier, or uh, came, couldn't stay when we were taping this show. So, uh, by that fact, Minford will move on. So, good luck to both teams. We'll begin with a warm-up round, and it's on state capitals, Minford. Name two of the four state capitals, beginning with the letter H. Harrisburg and Hartford? Are the two. Helena and Honolulu would have been the others. So you pick up 10. All right, your state capitals question now, Russell. Name two of the three state capitals, beginning with the letter M. Not all Montpelier and Minneapolis? No. Minford? Montpelier and Montgomery. And Madison would have been the other, so you pick up another 10 there. All right, famous firsts. We're coming to you, Russell. Who was the first monarch to live at Buckingham Palace? Was it Queen Victoria, William IV, George II, or Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother? George II. No. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother? No, it was Queen Victoria. Famous firsts for you, however. In which country did women gain the right to vote in 1893? Was it New Zealand, Austria, France, or the U.S.? France? Not France. New Zealand. New Zealand is right, so Russell picks up 10. I have an initials question for you, Minford. In the business world, for what do these initials stand? C-I-O and C-O-O. -O. Any guess? No? All right, Russell? Chief Information Officer and Chief Operating Officer. That's correct. For another 10, you've tied the score at 20. Now your initials question, the SAT is Scholastic Assessment Test. For what do these letters stand? P-S-A-T. Preparatory Scholastic Assessment Test. Preparatory Scholastic Assessment Test. No. Practice Scholastic Assessment Test. No, it's Preliminary Scholastic Aptitude or Assessment Test. All right, which decade, Russell? Which decade saw Casey Kasem launch his American Top 40 Countdown show the EPA created, and Jim Morrison play his last shows as the leader, the lead singer of The Doors. What decade? 1970s. That's right. All in 1970, by the way. Those clues. All right, your which decades question. Now, which decade saw Russian President Boris Yeltsin survive an impeachment attempt, the space shuttle Discovery blast off with five astronauts and a spy satellite aboard, and Ice Cube's album, I'm sure you all have this one, The Predator, become the first rap album to debut at number one on Billboard's Top 200 album chart. The 1990s. That's right. And that will end a quickly played warm-up round. We'll be back to talk to our team captains and uh, get into the bonus round when we return to High Q. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student-athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student-athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Hot 
summer days call for a refreshing stop at Clark's Pub and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. At Dutch Miller Auto, the time is now to get into the vehicle you want. Dutch Miller currently has the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles with an amazing inventory starting below $300 a month. Have a trade-in? There's never been a better time to get more than right now as Dutch Miller is giving up to 30% above fair market value for any trade-in. Don't see the vehicle on our lot you want? Then ask about the Dutch Miller Advantage, which means you can order the vehicle you want the way you want it faster. Only at DutchMillerAuto.com. And welcome back to Q. Before we get into the bonus round, it's a 30-30 tie at the moment. Bonus round coming up with lots of points available. Let's go to our teams. And Jacob is here back with his Russell team. Uh, the Red Devils, as I recall. Yes. And uh, what else do you want to tell us about Russell? Uh, we have a really good academic team. We, constant, or we consistently place top 10 in science and top four in state usually. Now you guys are a part of like the Governor's Cup in Kentucky. Do you yes. participate in that? It's a pretty big deal. Louisville, Lexington, where do they? Uh, Louisville. In Louisville. All right. Well, welcome back. And Minford, tell me about your school. Um, you know, it's a pretty, pretty small school, about 400 people, but it's not a bad thing. It gives us an opportunity for close relationships between students and our wonderful staff, and it's a good community to be a part of. Terrific. And I come to uh, Minford High School once a year, except we haven't been able to do it for a couple, with the father-daughter banquet that the Church of Christ, Mark Gamp and company, put on there. It's always a great time to come there and uh, just be my silly self. So Lorelai and Jacob, as our captains, you'll uh, continue to give us answers in the bonus round. We'll start with uh, Russell, Jacob, 15-point clue for you. An example of this word was White House staff member Linda Tripp in 1988 during the Clinton administration. And pass. Bose Allen Hamilton subcontractor Edward, Edward Snowden in 2013. Whistleblower. Whistleblower. Whistleblower is right. That's the term we're looking for when a worker passes on information concerning wrongdoing. All right, uh, three word answer for your bonus round, starting with this five pointer. When the Exxon Valdez ran aground in 1989 off Alaska's coastline, between 11 and 32 million gallons of crude oil were spilled, covering 1,300 miles of coastline. It was spilled into what body of water with a royal sounding name on the Gulf of Alaska, located on the east side of the Kenai Peninsula? You have that three word answer for me, Jacob? Prince William. Prince William Sound? That's right. Prince William Sound is right for five. Now for ten. What prominent Washington, D.C. building on Wisconsin Avenue Northwest has a gargoyle of Darth Vader on its Northwest Tower, WNC for short? Answer? Jacob? No answer. All right. Lorelei? It's Washington National Cathedral. We'll get to an audio bonus in a moment, but first let's go back to you, Minford, for a 15-point clue. It's the chemical element of atomic number 80. Check your periodic table of elements. Chemistry teacher would love you for knowing this on the 15-point clue. Would you like to move on to the 10? Uh, yeah, pass. In mythology, a Roman god of commerce, eloquence, travel, cunning, and theft, who serves as messenger to the other gods. You want to guess or move on to the five? Move on. The planet nearest the sun. Mercury. Mercury is right. All right, audio bonus now coming up for you. Here's your five-pointer. Also known as Land of Hope and Glory, this tomb was written for the coronation of King Edward VII in 1902. Listen and give me its title. Lorelai? 
pomp and circumstance. That's it for five. Now for 10, Mr. Mojo Risen was an anagram of this iconic, charismatic, controversial singer who died of a suspected heroin overdose at age 27. Listen and name him. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. Into this house we're born. Into this world we're thrown. Like a dog without a bone and actor out alone. Riders on the storm. Who are lies? Who is that man? Bob Dylan. No. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison of the Doors is right. All right, we'll move on to another uh, 15, 10, 5. And it is uh, for you, Russell. Which U.S. president had these events occur while in office? 15, Roger Maris hit 61 home runs. Pass. The first Walmart store opens for business in Rogers, Arkansas. Pass. The U.S. Senate ratifies the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, and Marilyn Monroe sang happy birthday to this president. Kennedy. Kennedy. Is right. Kennedy. Happy birthday to you. All right, World Capitals is your bonus for five points. Czechoslovakia, spell, no, is a 14-letter country. In the middle of the word Czechoslovakia is what Scandinavian capital? Oslo. Oslo is right. Somalia is the African country with the longest coastline on the continent and about 10 million inhabitants. Name them all. No. What is the capital? Mogadishu. Mogadishu. And the, the name of the city, the political center in Silicon Valley, is also the capital of Costa Rica. Name it. San Jose. San Jose. You knew the way to San Jose. There you go. All right, 90 to 40 in the early going of our bonus round, and I have a who am I question for you, Minford. Born in 1908, I served as lead attorney for the plaintiffs in Brown v. Board of Education. Very historic case. <clears throat> Pass. I became an associate justice of the U.S. Supreme Court from October 1967 until October 1991. Pass. I was the first African American Supreme Court justice in the history of the United States in 1967. Rogers? No. Russell? Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall is right, so you pick up another five. And your bonus this time is on Proverbs. For five points, there's not only one to every rule. It also proves the rule. Jacob? Exception. Exception to the rule. What comes before, but you can't make him drink? You can lead a horse to water. That's right. And the saying, there is nothing new under the sun, is a variation of a proverb in what Old Testament book, beginning with E, a 12-letter word? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is right. Another bone is coming up in a moment. I'm staying with you for a 15-point clue. This 1959 Rodgers and Hammerstein Broadway musical is based on a 1949 memoir. Pass. The musical tells the story of Maria, who takes a job as governess to a large family while she decides whether to become a nun. Sound of music. The hills are alive with the sound of music. All right. Planes is your bonus. When Charles Lindbergh took this plane on a test flight, he set a California to New York speed record. Spirit of St. Louis. That's it. Uh, in the late 1960s, Boeing developed the first jumbo jet and gave it what number? 
707? No. You got the 10 points, Lorelei, if you know. 737? 747. All right, another 15-pointer uh, for you now, team, from Minford, Ohio. This was a Semitic-speaking civilization and region in the ancient Near East during the late 22nd millennium BC. Pass. In biblical usage, the name was confined to the country west of the Jordan River, which included what are today Lebanon, Israel, Palestine, northwest Jordan, and some western areas of Syria. Babylon? No. If you know this for 10 points, Russell. Judea? No. It was referred to as a synonym for the promised land. It was Canaan. All right, so that ends the bonus round, and it's 140 to 40 in favor of Jacob and Russell. But I have the 60-second round category coming up. Lots of points available there when Q returns. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student-athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program, with walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Greenham and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenham, Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. Credit unions are small and can't compete with us big banks. Who are you calling? Um, I'm just trying to get through your bank's automated system to talk to a real person. Well, two can play at this game. Oh, I, uh, I think I have the wrong number. At Member's Choice, we are small enough that a real person will answer your call. Well, we are a very large and very busy organization. But large enough that you will be able to access your money through our technology and our global network of ATMs. All right, welcome back. Uh, we have a 140 to 40 score in favor of Russell at this point. However, I have lots of points in this round called stump the, or called uh, 60 seconds, where I'll give the teams a choice of four categories. They'll pick the one they like best. We'll see how many they can get to in 60 seconds. Get them all, we'll give you a 20 point bonus. I have computer keyboard, contests and awards, geography, and birds. So Minford and Lorelai with the uh, lower score at this point, you have the first choice. Birds. Okay, birds it is. And here we go. It's from the Anglo-Saxon for sing and night. Dove. No, the state bird of Florida imitates the songs of other birds. Mockingbird. Uh huh. Of the bird's five senses, it's the poorest. Sight. No. It's the name of the tuft of feathers on a bird's head. Plume. No. Macaw, marten, or cockatoo, which is not a member of the parrot family. Marten. Uh-huh. It can't fly, often weighs 300 pounds, but can run 40 miles an hour, Ostrich. lays a four pound egg, uh-huh. It has the greatest wingspan of any living bird, 12 feet. You can find it in Coleridge's. Albatross. Yes, the color of the feathers on the head of a bald eagle. White. Uh-huh. Why do woodpeckers peck into wood? For food. Yes. And it's what the penguin uses its wings for. Swimming. That's right. Um, all right. So you picked up uh, seven of those. Nicely done. Brings you to 110. All right, Russell, on the ones they missed or passed on, on birds, it's from the Anglo-Saxon for sing and night. Nightingale. Nightingale is right. Uh, of the bird's five senses, it's the poorest. Smell. Smell. It is smell. Uh, it's the name of the tuft of feathers on a bird's head. Is it crop or crop? I'll go with you. Just crop 
Answer? Crop. It's crest. All right, so that uh, gives you uh, an additional 20, brings you to 160, 110 for Minford. Nicely done, Minford, on your category. All right, of the remaining categories, what is your choice? Geography. Geography, all right. Start the clock. Botanical name mentioned in New Jersey's state nickname. Garden. Garden. Where is the annual English Derby held? Pass. What girl's name does the Massachusetts resort sometimes called the Vineyard carry? Martha. Uh -huh. Resort Island in the Gulf of Naples was actually a huge block of limestone. Capri. Capri. Uh -huh. What continents, external territories include Christmas Island? Australia. Australia. Uh -huh. In what city were 19 people hanged for being witches in 1692? Salem. Uh -huh. Name the Ukrainian port on the Black Sea. Past. What country consists of the Jutland Peninsula and approximately 485 islands? Denmark. Uh -huh. Name the four-letter term for either of the regions contiguous to the extremities of the Earth's rotational axis. Pole. And what color is given to the forest region of southwest Black. Germany? Black. Black is right. All but you picked up eight, and that brings you to 240. Now, on the category of geography, Minford, uh, where is the annual English Derby held? It's Epsom Downs is what we're looking for there. Name the Ukrainian port on the Black Sea. Pass. It's Yalta. So at the end of that round, 240 to 110 in favor of Russell, but I have plenty of questions worth 20 points apiece. When Stump the Experts and Q return. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student-athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student-athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. At Dutch Miller Auto, the time is now to get into the vehicle you want. Dutch Miller currently has the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles with an amazing inventory starting below $300 a month. Have a trade-in? There's never been a better time to get more than right now as Dutch Miller is giving up to 30% above fair market value for any trade-in. Don't see the vehicle on our lot you want? Then ask about the Dutch Miller Advantage, which means you can order the vehicle you want the way you want it faster. Only at DutchMillerAuto.com. days call for a refreshing stop at Clark's Pub and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. And welcome back. We're getting ready for the finish of today's high cue at the moment, 240 to 110 in favor of Russell, but I have plenty of 20 point questions for our teams. And Minford, we'll start with you in the Stump the Experts round. This I word also referred to as saturation or chroma, refers to the degree of purity of a color. It diminishes when it gets mixed with another color. Intensity. Is right. Nice job for 20 points. All right, starts with the letter I. The Golden Horn is a major urban waterway and the primary inlet of the Bosphorus in what Pakistani city? Islamabad. Is right. 20 more for you. Novels, and we'll stay with you, uh, Russell, this Boris Pasternak novel, first published in 1957 in Italy, is named after its protagonist, a physician and poet. It takes place between the Russian Revolution of 1905 and World War II. A 1965 film starred Omar Sharif and Julia, uh, Julie Christie. Jacob? Crime and Punishment? No. Minford? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? It's Dr. Zhivago. 
But a novel's question for you now. This James Joyce novel chronicles the appointments and encounters of the itinerant Leopold Bloom in Dublin. Answer? All right, do you know Russell? Dubliners. No, it's Ulysses. Oh uh, mythology equivalents for you now, Lorelai. I'll give you the Roman name of a god. You give me the Greek name. Faunus, god of nature. Pan. Pan. Not to be confused with his brother, Pot. Yes, <laughs> it is Pan. Oh, I got a million of them. Sadly, nobody wants to hear them. All right, your mythology equivalent. Vulcan, god of fire and the forge. Hephaestus. Hephaestus is right, without hesitation. Now, history for you. Give me any one year of Queen Anne's War. Seventeen eighty-one. No, Midford. Seventeen forty-five. Seventeen o two to seventeen thirteen. But a history question for you. Name the Germanic people who first inhabited what is now southern Poland, establishing kingdoms on the Iberian Peninsula, Mediterranean islands, and North Africa in the 5th century. The Gauls? No. Jacob? Vandals. The Vandals is right. And computer companies for you now. Bill and Dave, two college friends, founded this computer company in 1939. Their last names will give you the name of this technology company headquartered in Palo Alto, California. Jacob, I guess? Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. That's it. Hewlett Packard is right. Coming to you at the last second there. All right, your computer company's question now, Laura Lyon team. This was founded in Beijing in November 1984 as legend and was incorporated in Hong Kong in 1988 and by 2005 had acquired IBM's personal computer business. In 2017, it acquired Fujitsu's PC business. Any guess? Google? No, not Google. Russell? Huawei? It is Lenovo. And that ends the game. We'll validate the score, see who moves on when HiQ returns. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student-athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student-athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Greenham and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenham, Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. Credit unions are small and can't compete with us big banks. Who are you calling? Um, I'm just trying to get through your bank's automated system to talk to a real person. Well, two can play at this game. Oh, I, uh, I think I have the wrong number. At Member's Choice, we are small enough that a real person will answer your call. Well, we are a very large and very busy organization. But large enough that you will be able to access your money through our technology and our global network of ATMs. All right, welcome back to uh, the final part of our show here where I announce the score and see who moves on. 320 for Russell and 150 for Minford. So Russell, congratulations. You will move on in further play and we'll see you uh, 
in our uh, elite round as it comes to it. Minford, thank you very much for coming. We certainly appreciate it. And uh, my best to everybody there, uh, all the Falcons at Minford. And uh, we'll see you next year on our show. Ernie G. Anderson reminding you to join me weekdays 2 to 6 on my radio show at Cool Hits 1057 or CoolHits1057.com. Back here again next week. And remember to adopt a spayed or neutered pet for a lifetime of love. God bless you. We'll see you next time on Q.